Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, Ranking Member Waltz for being here, and thank you to all of today's witnesses for participating in our legislative hearing. I'm excited to discuss the legislation on today's agenda. Each piece of legislation is in response to a serious issue or concern affecting our veterans' health care. I look forward to hearing from our witnesses, addressing any concerns ahead of a future markup and moving these important reforms forward. As a co-sponsor of several of the bills before the subcommittee today, I'm proud of the work being done within this committee and throughout this Congress to preserve and enhance the, the VA health care and, uh, and that's so that many veterans utilize value and recommend. During my time on this committee, I have made it a special priority to ensure women veterans have access to high quality gender-specific care in a safe and welcoming environment. I believe that two of the bills on today's agenda will advance this goal. The Improving Oversight of Women's Veterans Care Act requires the VA to practice oversight on the community care providers that the VA contracts with to provide gender-specific health care to women veterans. We need to do a better job tracking the quality of care provided to women veterans and conduct effective oversight to ensure that to ensure they are well served no matter where they get their care. I'm also excited to lend my support for Congressman Kaufman's legislation to require the VA to ensure that veterans' peer counseling programs includes enough peer counselors for women veterans. It is clear that peer-to-peer -peer counseling is an effective way to reach veterans that may not be willing to submit to a formal mental health care treatment plan. Peer-to-peer -peer counseling is meant to be sensitive to the specific culture of the military and how that culture affects a veteran's experience. It is integral that veterans seeking peer-to-peer -peer counseling are afforded an opportunity to speak with a peer that they can relate to. And for many women veterans, their most relatable peer will be their fellow women. I appreciate Con Congressman Kaufman's leadership on this issue and look forward to further discussions on the merits of his legislation. Finally, I'm eager to hear from the ranking member of the of the VA Medicinal Cannabis Research Act of 2018. I'll leave it to the ranking member to discuss its merits, but I will say I'm proud to co-sponsor the legislation because I believe the VA must continue to look at complementary and alternative treatments such as cannabis that can help veterans cope with the invisible wounds of war. Thank you also to Congressman O'Rourke and all of our colleagues for your legislation and your work supporting veterans. I look forward to your input and recommendations of our VSO partners, and Mr. Chairman, thank you, and I yield back.